If you're having trouble getting spin on your wedges, well this video's for you. The number one most important thing is your equipment. Golf club, golf ball, those two things, very important. Golf club, I've got my Callaway Jaws Raw 60. I get one about once a month. I get a new one once a month. All the bunker shots I hit, it wears down the grooves very fast. It is impossible to get spin on the golf ball if your club is old or outdated. It's also important to get fitted if you have too much bounce or not enough bounce. If you have too much bounce on your wedges, then you're gonna start getting real steep on it. And unless you're hitting it perfect, it's hard to put a lot of spin on it. If you don't have enough bounce, you're gonna start scooping the ball up in the air and it'll, it's hard to get really good ball, ball, it's hard to get very good ball contact. Um, next thing, golf ball. You've got to use a premium golf ball. It is impossible to spin a B-tier golf ball at a high rate. I'm using a Callaway Chrome Soft X. This is one of my practice balls. And when I hit a golf ball about 10 times, it becomes a practice ball. I don't hit it any more than that, unless it's going in a shag bag. Getting the right ball fitted for you. Understanding, is it, is it spinning too much? Not enough, to me, can't get enough spin. So I'm really into a high spinny golf ball. Along the Callaway Chrome Soft line, the Chrome Soft X is the spinniest golf ball. So that's, that's the golf ball I prefer. The third thing is a little bit on how, why the right, why the right equipment is important. It's for good ball contact. The only thing that tells you if you're doing it right or not, if your technique is right or not, is if the ball is actually spinning. There's nothing else. There's no video in the world. It's not this swing is going to make the ball spin. It's the golf ball. Is it actually spinning? Here's my tip for you. Start out with a lower lofted wedge, maybe a, a gap wedge or a sand wedge. Make, learn to make good ball contact before you go to a 60 degree wedge. Here you go. I just love spin. Give those tips a try. Hopefully it'll help you spin your wedges. Let me know in the comments below, what wedges and golf balls do you prefer? If you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. See you on the next video.